Hey everyone, Brian here. Launchbox for Android 1.2 is out, and the new big feature is full custom theme support. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom theme for Launchbox for Android, and it should allow you to get up and running to create your own theme. But before we jump in, there's a few things that you'll need to have. Obviously, you'll need an Android device, along with LaunchBox for Android 1.2 or higher installed. You'll need a files app of some kind. You'll see in this video that I use one called Material Files, but anything will do. You'll also need some kind of code or text editor. You'll see me use one called Code Editor, Compiler, and IDE. Pocket Editor is another good one, but really any text editor would do. The theming engine in LaunchBox for Android uses a theming language called Xamarin Forms. I'll leave a link below to the Xamarin Forms official site. It's where you can learn the basics of the language and you can always use it as a reference moving forward when you're building your theme. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at how views actually work inside of LaunchBox. LaunchBox for Android is made up of two different views. We have the filters view, uh, this is the root view. By default, it is set to display platforms, but a user can switch this out to use different types of information like genres and play mode. Optionally, a user could also choose to have a secondary filters view. Lastly, there's the games view, and that's just a list of games for when a user enters into the filters view. Now a user has the option to choose different views for their root filters view, their secondary filters view, which I mentioned is optional, and a games view. On top of that, a user can choose different game views on a per filter basis, which basically means that a user could choose a different view for Sega Genesis than they have for Super Nintendo, for example. So let's take a look at navigating a theme's file structure. I'm going to open the Files app and navigate to the LaunchBox folder. In here, you'll see a new Themes folder. Inside of that, you'll see something called the Example Themes folder. Now, ignore mine, I already created a whole bunch of themes, so you see a, a bunch of theme folders here. This Example Theme folder will show how a Themes folder structure should look like. You'll see that there's a Filters View folder and a Games View folder. Inside of those, you'll see a README text file along with another Examples folder. Now that Examples folder provides different view examples for all the different default views available in LaunchBox for Android. To begin your theme, all you have to do is make a copy of the Example Themes folder and rename it to anything that you'd like. Let's just rename this theme to my new theme. There we go. Now by default, everything inside of the example folder doesn't get read by LaunchBox for Android. So to begin, we have to move one of those files outside of its directory. So I'm just gonna create a games view. I'm gonna go in and choose this wheel with two column details, move it outside to the games view, and I'm just gonna rename it and give it a name that would provide some sort of insight to the user as what this is for. Uh, I'm just going to call it Vertical Wheel because it's just going to have a vertical wheel. Now the names of these are actually important because inside of LaunchBox, both the theme name and the view file name here will get displayed inside of LaunchBox for Android. It's how a user will determine what these files are for. Now if you have more than one view file here in the game's view, then obviously you want to distinguish between them so a user knows what to actually choose. Now before we jump into this new file, let's take a quick look at the documentation.pdf. This is located inside of everyone's theme folder, which you'll see here. Now this document will show all of the LaunchBox for Android specific bindings that you can use inside of your theme. Now this includes things for text bindings to display things like release date, genre, play mode, image bindings so that you can display images of like backgrounds, boxes, and clear logos. It'll show you the different wheel and list types you can use inside of your theme, uh, the different triggers and converters that you can use, which will allow you to create a more dynamic theme that will work across different various screen sizes and resolutions and orientations, along with a miscellaneous section with various code that you might find useful to include in your theme. Now that you know where to look up Xamarin Forms code and you know where to look up LaunchBox for Android specific code, let's jump into this view 
and see what we can do. Now by default, the view we selected from the example folder looks like a copy of one of the default views. Now we grabbed the wheel with two column game view. So it's gonna look exactly like that view inside of Monster Box for Android. Now this view file is simply Xamarin Forms code that makes up the pieces of what you see inside of LaunchBox for Android. So we're going to see sections here for the background elements, both the images and videos that could potentially play in the background. You'll see a section for the wheel or list. Uh, in this case, it's a collection view. And then you'll see a section for like all the rest of the details, including uh, the video, the boxes, and all the metadata that, that displays on the screen. Now, I'm not going to be creating a theme from scratch here, which you can do. Uh, that's not really the point of this video. So I'm just going to make a minor change to this view. Um, let's add play mode to the detail section here. So I'm just going to make a copy of this label that I believe just displays the release date. And I'm going to look up in my documentation.pdf for the play mode text binding. And now I just have to type selected game dot game dot play mode. That's it. So we're going to save that out and we're going to see if that worked. Now all you got to do is refresh the view. And there you go. Play mode listed underneath the release date. So after you've added all the views that you've wanted into your theme uh, and you've named everything right and you got all the code that you wanted correct, to package it, all you have to do is zip up your theme folder. For this, you're gonna see me use the materials files app, which does have this functionality built in. I'm just going to select my theme, my, my new theme, and I'm going to hit the top button here and just click compress. You know, I'm gonna add the, the version number to keep things uh, organized here. And, and that's it. I now have a zipped up file and I can either transfer this to my computer to post it on the forums or I can just post it on the forums from my Android device if I wanted to. Hopefully this quick intro video has helped you get started in creating your own LaunchBox for Android theme. If you do create one, I can't wait to see it over on our community forums. If you have any questions about building your theme, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to either answer it or do another video about it in the future. Thank you so much for watching and take care everybody.